Hey there, it's just John for a quick A50 tutorial. So, a sort of like a year celebration of A50 tutorials. About a year ago, I did a portal tutorial video in Unreal. And yeah, it was alright, I and mean, it was very much so just to cover the basics, but I thought it'd be really cool to jump back in and maybe do another portal video and maybe go a little bit more in depth. So, this is sort of like a two part. So, if you've seen the first part where I created the textures in After Effects, awesome. And what I've done is because it was three layers, so you get the base layer, which was just a green circle, really, which I'm going to sort of use for max mask and mixing. And then we've got this highlights part, and we've got sort of like the base part. And it's just going to be sort of like a two part material that we're going to put together. So, like I say, we've done the textures, now we're in inside Unreal. Let's do this. If you're not interested, even though I get After Effects, what I'll do is I'll try and make these textures available for you to download as well. So, if you, because I know everyone's not got, you know, access to that. So I'm going to do is I'm going to call this portal mat. And again, unlike this last, the last one that we did last year, this one I'm actually going to take a try a bit more inspiration. I've tried to go for the Rick and Morty portal because it's cool and you know, it's a cool show and everything. So I figure this might be a good opportunity to go for a bit more inspiration. And really it was between this and the portal one, and people have already done a whole bunch of the portal videos out there, so I thought this one might be better. Cool. Alright, so let's get to it. So I've imported my two textures, and, you know, let me put them this way. I prefer my highlights at the bottom. So what it's going to be now, it's going to be a case of mixing these together. And I'm also going to just duplicate this top one. And I'm going to drag that into the opacity mask. Because that way we're going to get the circle from it. As well as that, now what we need to do is we need to mix these together. And we're going to do so with a pin light. And I think this one's going to get the best mix. If you did watch the tutorial, the After Effects tutorial, I did change this up a little bit. Because in After Effects I use the divide. And the divide is sort of like good for, you know, making, you know, flipping those like blacks and changing them but because these the divide doesn't quite work the same in here I figured this will be the best way to do it. Alright so now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this with this and then we're going to just take this and put it right into our emissive. So we're just taking our two textures and plug those into our emissive and let's give that a second to render Awesome, and now you can see we have this mix. So let's build on this a little bit more, and I'm just going to move you out of the way, put you down here for a minute. And we want that spin, so we're going to use a rotator. And a rotator is going to give us that quite nice, well, rotation, you know? So I'm going to just drag this and put it into the UVs. At the moment, like, it's so sort of good, but I feel like I want this to be quite a slow moving one, so I'm going to set that to 0.1. And then, because this one's on top, this one's going to go in the opposite direction, but slightly slower. Oops. Minus 0 0.6. No, 0 0.6. And this one at the 1. And let's give that a look, see how that's turned out. I think both of those could actually go for speeding up a touch. Let's take this up to 16, and we'll take this one down to 0.2. And hit save, and hopefully that should give us a much nicer speed to help, help sell the effect. It's better. It's better. I mean, I sort of do question if we should maybe go a bit more with that. Mm, no, that's quite good. And so this is going to be the like the basis of our effect. And what we're going to do is just to sort of help some of the parts stand out. I'm going to take this and I'm going to get a multiply 
I'm going to also get a blue by holding three to create the blue. And I'm multiplying these together just to sort of create a cheeky and quick normal mask. Let's have a quick look. See how that looks. There, yeah, it looks like that. And let's stick that into the normal mask. So I should give it a little bit of depth. Let's actually see what it looks like, shall we, in our scene. I'm just going to drag a plane, rotate it. and scale it because obviously being a portal it's not quite square so now we've got that let's drag this onto here and see how that looks pretty cool right pretty cool now if we wanted to go a bit further with this which, yeah, why not? Let's go a little bit further. What I'm going to do at this point is just close this and save it. And duplicate it. And then I'm going to call this one Map Party. And the reason I've done this is because if I open up my original, I'm going to put a tessellation on this to sort of give it the wavy effect. So I'm just going to go down, find a tessellation, and then... Uh, I could have possibly created one, but this is just sort of, for example, let's go to our textures, find, I don't know, this one, and get a quick multiply, take you to there, put you in here, let's just say 16 for now hit save and hopefully what this should do is it should give us the sort of wavy effect around the outside and not make it a perfect circle okay so my multiply is probably a bit high but you know we get the point I mean be totally worth dragging that multiply down it also be worth possibly not using the fire one but this is just for point of example if you wanted to get the waviness out of it because I wanted the rotation, it means I couldn't create the oval because then the oval wouldn't rotate properly with the patterns inside it. So I had to do it this way and then tessellate the effect at the end. Look at that, that looks way better. We have a much lower, much lower effect. And now we have that, which is cool. Definitely happy with that. And we could continue to experiment. Like, what might be sort of interesting is if we were to take um, a soft light. And maybe blend this back in. Uh, in fact, let's do it. U into U, U into the result. And just quickly start previewing this. Yeah, it's all right, it's gone too far though. I feel like the mix is too much. But like I'm saying, we could you know, continue to go through and experiment this, try and get the color out a little bit more. Oh wait, that's supposed to be in the emissive. And yeah, again, sort of looking interesting, I don't know. I'm not really sure about that actually. So we try an overlay. So I'm just going to take the highlights again. Overlay that onto there. You into the emissive. I mean, it certainly looks interesting. I feel like it, we've gone we've gone too dark. What about if we flip these? 
and check that out, see how that looks. Ooh, now that's pretty good, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. But anyway, let's uh, let's build on this a little bit more, shall we? I'm just going to put this back to normal. And let's build on this a little bit more by actually turning this into a particle effect. So this is why I created my duplicate material. Cool. Here we go. And uh, where was it? Was it Rick and Morty Portland? Cool. So this is why I created my duplicate material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new particle system. Portal underscore party. And in here, what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's just quickly drop that right down to just one. And required, make sure we get the right one, otherwise the whole thing will break. I mean, we're really, really small, and we actually don't really want any movement on this, so let's just go on. Zero, zero, with all the zeros. And initial size, we want this to be a lot higher. Let's just go 200, 200, oops. Is that a better size? I feel like that might be a better size. And let's put this into our scene, shall we? All right. We're gonna make the lifetime, let's go five seconds. In fact, let's just say to a constant. Constant, five seconds. And let's do the size of a life. Okay, so Let's set you up and we'll just, yeah, we'll just do two point intro for now. So point one, you're going to be there and point two, you're going to be here. And let's just go 0 0.3 and you're going to be two, two, and you're going to be zeros. And hopefully what should happen now is we should almost get that pop in. <laughs> okay, we got to pop in way too slow. Let's go 0 0.1. Cool. And you know, I could probably even go faster than that. 0 0.06. And should we increase all the sizes on that? So knowing that it won't give me height, I don't think it gives you height on these now we'll just we'll leave it at that for now and let's stop it from creating so much so five seconds and middle loops just do we'll just do one one for now set you about over here in fact let's change our spawn to a zero and set this as a burst There's just one. Cool. Excellent. So, again with the portal, let's take this to the next level and let's just create a new particle emitter. And in the Rick and Morty, um, Rick and Morty stuff, it usually has like little white dots around, so like look like they're coming out. So we want some little white dots to look like they're coming out of our portal. So, we'll just set this up with a location and it will go cylinder. And let's just set you up and we'll draw it so we can see it. And I think we want Y. That's right. And we are going to want to increase the radius of this. Which is here. Is that about right? Yeah, that'll do. There's a big portal. Awesome. And we're going to want to change the velocity. So the left and right, okay, let's set 
u to 10 and say u to minus 10 because what we want is it to come more towards the camera which I think is the y Nope, that seems to be just going left. So it must be U. There we go. Now we've got like some dots coming out of there. And we're going to want to set the lifetime up on this to match. So I'll set U as 5. And do the same thing in the required. And that is probably coming out way too far, actually. Initial velocity, let's set you to, I don't know, 100. Maybe set you to 20. And finally, let's change this to, do we have any? I do, which is, this is just a simple sort of shaded white. And the thing on this, they're not coming out spread out what is in the simulation over here. Looks like they're coming out more rounded. And I could probably also do with changing that size on these a bit. So we'll go 10, 10, 10, 6, 6, 6. Ooh. Give it that more mystical feel. Let's have a look at a silly, let's see what's going on here. And maybe just because this is just a thing, let's increase that to 40. Makes it easy to see. Okay, saying that to X seems to have solved it. Cool. So there we have it. I'm going to want to actually send a lifetime on this down to 4. It seems to go on forever. But what we have there is we have just created the Rick and Morty portal. And I'm showing you so like two ways to do this. What we've got is we've got the material with like tessellation to sort of create that warp effect if you want. And you could build on that. And we've also got the thing over here. Let's simulate in full screen. So there you go, and thanks for watching our channel and being involved in it over the last year. Obviously, it's with you guys, the views and everything, the likes, the subscribes, and all that, that we keep doing this, even though, um, you know, it's a lot of work and stuff, but yeah, it's your support. So if you've enjoyed this, again, please like, subscribe, all that usual YouTube stuff, and thanks for your time.